Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and welcome to another day in the fish room. So today I just want to give you guys a couple of updates. Um, some of the things that happened this week. So first off, here in this tank we have my convict cichlids. And they're at round two when it comes to breeding. You can see the male. And right under him I have a little bit of fry. Now when he first spawned it was about 50 babies. Now it's down to like 10. They're doing a great job protecting these fry from these fish. But the thing is, the fry, they go all over the place, so the parents have to follow the fry around. And then when the lights are off, the parents can't see anything. And then I have my fire eel, some loaches and catfish, and they come and get all the babies. But yeah, the comics are in there. And I think this is a different female. I have one male, and I have three of these pink convict females. I believe that he spawned first with this one, because that is the largest. And first he appeared with the largest female. That spawn was unsuccessful, so he went and switched up females. Um, it's very interesting behavior and it's, I think it's cool because all the females get a chance to spawn even though it's not really successful. But yeah, being that they spawn, they're going to try their best to protect the fry. And I had a scenario the other day where I fed the tank and the fry were, even as you see here, they're right there in the center. I like to feed in the center of the tank and I dropped all the food down here and the convicts were fighting the fish from away from the food and the parasite really got upset. The most dominant fish in the tank are my convicts, but the parasite, he just couldn't take um, the convicts hogging all the food even though they weren't eating the food they just were protecting their babies and the food happened to land next to their babies but yeah it ended up being a pretty big fight take a look So yeah, that happened the other day, but that was just a phase. It's definitely nothing that happens all the time, because if that was the case, these convicts would get their own tank. But yeah, they're just trying to protect their babies. And I guess that day the parasite was just fed up and he was willing to fight. You can see right now, those bars that he had when he was fighting, they're gone because he's just pretty much relaxed. And right now they're actually waiting for me to feed them. So that may reoccur, but I'm gonna to try to feed them over here this time. And the convicts will keep their babies over there and then hopefully there won't be any major collisions. But yeah, definitely, um something cool to witness i don't really encourage fish fighting but you know it will happen when you have these communities and as long as it's not too um deadly or too violent um it's definitely interesting to watch and then we have the 350 gallon aquarium um everybody doing awesome this guy is um definitely trying to become the biggest fish currently this guy is still the longest he's about 16 and a half inches but this guy is right behind he's probably 16 inches if he's 16 and a half is definitely only like half an inch difference but while this guy is longer this guy is definitely taller so if you look at the side shot he's about six about six inches tall while this one is only about four and a half inches tall so he's definitely getting taller probably way more so i guess i could start calling him the bigger fish you see those fins i'm not liking it and that's because of the pipe and i'm not sure what happened but there has been a lot of regression lately between these two i think that this guy can actually beat the pike the only thing is the red devil keep interfering 
But because the Red Devil keeps interfering, the Pike has the advantage, and he's been causing problems with these. So you can see his back fins are pretty busted, and I think that the main one to blame is the Pike. So definitely still having some behavior problems. And then we have this one. This is my Cicla Orinoco, definitely becoming um, my favorite fish. And that's because he's greedy. He realized he needs to grow and he's just always begging. And not to mention his green body. So I have three different types of peacock bass. Cicla Ocellaris um, with that yellow body color. Cicla Azul, he has the gray with the darker gray and a little bit of blue. And then we have Cicla Orinoco. This guy has a green body. So you're definitely um, a nice mix of all three. But yeah, this guy is becoming my favorite because he's definitely building up appetite. I actually have some smelt. Oops, some smelt in here, thawing out. So maybe I'll give you guys a quick look at his appetite. He can't eat a whole piece. He can't eat a whole piece because he's about maybe, I'd say eight inches. So he can't swallow a five inch smelt, but he can definitely eat half. So I just go, um, toss it in there. And he has it. I might as well feed the rest. My big Azul, Azul, he can eat a whole piece of smelt, so. Toss that in here. There's a certain way to toss them in there for them to actually take it. Let me see if we can get this all. I guess it's the camera. It's not about the camera makes the Azul. Oh, there he goes. And then the off sellers. He likes to eat it without a head, so I have to go and rip off the head. And he'll eat this thing without the head. He doesn't like the head, so drop it in there. That's the camera. Usually they just devour it. Let me see if I could pass it to him. Yeah, he's acting funny, but look, look, he got it. Yeah, peacock bass definitely my favorite fish. Um, I'm gonna feed the little ghost like coming out too. Maybe I'll feed him too. This wasn't intended to be a feeding video, but you can't feed one and not the rest. Now the ghost knife, he has um that weird mouth, so I really have to chop it up nice in order for him to eat it fully. I'll chop some up just for um the pike. The pike will get these heads later on. And then I go in here with the ghost knife. And you can see him in there chewing it up. Now the red devil has been being aggressive towards this guy and he has no reason because the ghost knife is absolutely peaceful. So I gotta figure out what to do with that. And then I'll just toss in pellets for the Red Devil. Um, the Flagtail, the Pike, the Red Devil. And look at my um, shovel nose catfish. This guy is becoming a lot more active. Before he used to stay stuffed in the corner. And now he's been eating at night. He's catching up in size. And you can see his tail back there. He's becoming nice and active. But yeah, these pellets are going to be eaten by the Red Devil, the Flagtail, the Pike, catfish. But yeah, that's um 350 gallon aquarium. Right now, these two tanks are battling when it comes to being my favorite. Of course, these guys are awesome, but these guys have so much potential. They definitely are um, a very cool tank to watch. But yeah, everyone, um, that's what's happening in these two tanks. Besides that, we have right below my 55 gallon tank. I have my Jaguars. The divider is gone because the male just broke it down. And you can see him and the female, they're building a nest. They have some pits dug out. This guy is getting more and more bold. Before he used to run when the camera was this close and now you look at him. Sits right there. We have Forrest, Maine Coon. Look, he's not even afraid of Forrest. So yeah, this pair is definitely becoming a lot more bold, but they're about to spawn. Now the thing is, will they um, be successful with the spawn? They spawn, this is gonna be the third time and uh, the two previous times, the one First time was my fault because I moved them out of the tank that they were in. The second time it was their fault because one of them ate the babies. So we're gonna see what happens. If the spawn is unsuccessful, I'm probably gonna separate them 
the male is going to go upstairs, the female is going to go into that 125. And I might use this tank for this peacock bass right here and for the snook sickly, which is right here, because both of these fish are picky eaters. And maybe I'll give them some feeders until they reach a certain size and then try to get them on um, pellets. And then we have this tank over here. I have my laundry up, so it's blocking half of the tank. But that laundry makes it so that I could disguise myself. The fish in this tank are pretty shy. But look at the vieja. All that bright, beautiful color. The Cuban cichlid. Everybody loves the Cuban. I get so many compliments about this guy. I do think it's a male. Right there, I have a red Texas. Um, pretty shy, so you won't be able to see it. Um, he kind of looks okay. But look at this Cuban. Then the loaches and Tim Fuyu barbs. But that vieja definitely looking stunning right now. Yeah, this tank is pretty shy, so I can't really show it off with you guys as much as I would like. And um, speaking of this here, um, Red Texas, he's behind this rock. And you can't really see his color. He definitely has some decent color. He's not peeled. He has like a gray body with blue scales. He definitely looks good. He just is pretty shy. But I bought two of these Red Texas at the same time from the same litter, and they look completely different. Now this one I do believe is a female, um, not showing much color. But I have a male, the brother of this fish, upstairs. I'm going, to, I'm going to finish off this video with a look at this guy, or that guy rather, because he definitely is a gorgeous fish. He's growing nicely. He's in my 210 gallon aquarium, and no doubt he's going to be a champion. I'm going to swing over here and see if I can get some of these on camera. Now they are all pretty shy, and because the Tim Fuyu barbs are going back and forth, these other fish are reading that signal, and they're just panicking as well. See, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you that, but I'm going to finish off the video with a look at um, my Red Texas. Before I do that, this, this cat, Forrest, is always down here. He um, just loves it down here. he go from tank to tank. When he was young, he stayed with a small fish, but you know, now I only have big fish, and he's always in front of this tank watching it. Sometimes he tries to jump and scare them, but you know, this little guy isn't going to do any um, scaring when it comes to these fish. If you look at this cat, his head, his head is the same size as that peacock bass, so I'm um, definitely not going to do any scaring of these fish. But it's cool to have these fish and to have this guy interested in them. But yeah, let me show you guys the Red Texas. Okay everyone, so this is the 210 gallon aquarium. The fish I wanted to show you is the Red Texas and it just came out. Um, this guy back here, this is the brother of that Red Texas downstairs and definitely a gorgeous fish. The camera doesn't really... Do justice besides that i have the red severum the jaguar female jaguar eventually i want the male to be paired with her and this tank we have the oscar these now tilapia definitely i'm um, becoming a little bit more enjoyable um we have my jack dempsey's i had a mate up here but they broke up so now the male attacks the female um seven dollars yeah this is the guy i want to show because he has a ton of potential definitely going to be a beast i'm not sure how big he's going to get because you know his mother was a parrot, his father was a Texas. The Texas can reach 12 inches, the parrots don't get as big, so I'm not sure how big he's gonna get. But regardless, he's definitely showing off some decent colors. The female, um, this seven is a female, so it's not gonna get too big. But still a nice um, orange or red combo, definitely very cool fish. But yeah, everyone, just wanted to give you guys some updates on the fish, show you what's happening. Always a lot of stuff to watch, always um, enjoyable. Eventually, I do want to get my supplies to build my plywood aquarium, just in no rush because I want to do as much research as possible and just be fully prepared to take on that um, project. But yeah, this is the fish room as of today. And as always, I thank you guys for taking time to watch this video. For everybody who hit subscribe, I definitely appreciate it. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe because this girl is going to get a male jack and it's going to be an awesome pair. And it's going to be a lot of awesomeness. So yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.